वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड मेजरमेंट इन दिस फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वॉल्यूम सो लेट अस फर्स्ट डिफाइन व्हाट इज वॉल्यूम द अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस ऑक्युपाइज बाय अ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड इट्स वॉल्यूम as we can compare the volume of a brick or and a match box as we know a brick uh, requires more space to keep and a match box require a very less space to keep that so we can say that the volume of a brick is more than the volume of a match stick now one more term related to it that is called the capacity so what is capacity the space available in a container is called its capacity for example a glass contains water and a bucket contains water if i am asking which one contains more water then children your answer will be a bucket contain more water means we can say the capacity of a bucket is more than the capacity of a glass next we can talk uh, how we can determine the volume of a regular solid body in this let us first uh, see the volume of a cube children volume of cube we can find by using the mathematical formula like we know that volume of cube uh is l cube or we can say side into side into side l into l into f or we can say side into side into side another regular solid body if i am talking that is volume of cuboid cuboid that is we can write length into breadth into height so this is these are the formulas to find the volume of a cube and cuboid now let us talk about the si unit of volume volume can be measured in meter cube as a unit of volume is meter cube capacity as a unit is also meter cube and if we will talk about the cgs unit then cgs unit of volume is a centimeter cube now children let us see the relation uh, of this si unit and uh, other units of uh, volumes so in this first i am going to tell the relationship between meter cube and centimeter cube so then as we know 1 meter cube means 3 times meter is there means 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter that is 1 meter cube we know that 1 meter equals to 100 cm so we can write 100 cm into 100 cm into 100 cm this 1 meter 100 cm this 1 meter 100 cm this 1 meter 100 cm so total 2 4 6 0 so we can write 10 to the power 6 cm cube so 1 meter cube is equals to 10 to the power 6 cm cube this is the one relation now let us see the relation between meter cube and decimeter cube children as we know that 1 meter equals to 10 decimeter 1 meter equals to 10 decimeter so see how we can calculate this let us see now 
one meter cube again we can write one meter into one meter into one meter means ten decimeter into ten decimeter into ten decimeter and it means it will become ten to the power three or we can write one thousand decimeter. So one meter cube is equals to ten thousand deci meter cube. Again, we can see the other relation that is decimeter cube and centimeter cube. So as we know, one decimeter equals to ten centimeter. So we can write one decimeter cube is equals to one decimeter into one decimeter into one decimeter. So it will be one decimeter ten centimeter. So ten centimeter into ten centimeter, and it will become ten to the power three or one to three. So thousand centimeter cube. So one decimeter cube is equals to thousand centimeter cube. This is the another relation. Now let us talk about centimeter cube and millimeter cube. Again, we can write. the same way as we know that 1 cm cube is equals to 1 cm into 1 cm into 1 cm so till then we know that 1 cm equals to 10 mm so 10 mm into 10 mm into 10 mm and this will become 1 cm cube so we can write 1 cm cube is equals to 1 2 3 So again, three zero and three millimeter cube. So one centimeter cube is equals to one thousand meter cube. So these are the relations with the different units of volume. Volume, smaller volume can be measured in millimeter cube or centimeter cube. Now, let us see the measurement of area so let us first define the surface area surface area is defined as the measure of the surface of an object we already know to measure the area of certain regular shapes like regular geometrical figure we have studied in previous classes that uh, we can measure the area of square so we know that area of square equals to side into side area of rectangle rectangle we know that is length into breadth so there are certain formulas to find the area of regular geometrical shapes now let us talk about the si unit of area so si unit of area is meter square meter square why meter square side is measured in meter side is measured in meter so meter into meter we will get meter square so si unit of area is meter square to measure the smaller areas we use centimeter square or millimeter square similarly for uh, measuring the large areas or uh, we can say the large areas are expressed in other units like hectare or uh, hectare and uh, air air we are writing like a r e we read as air air is the unit of area and it is used to measure large units like a piece of land or plot plot can be uh, measured uh, in area or uh, sorry in air or hectare let us see the relationship between uh, different units of area so first i am going to explain 
the relation between uh, meter square and centimeter square. So in this, let us talk the relation between meter square and centimeter square. As we know, 1 meter square means 1 meter into 1 meter. So 1 meter is, uh, that means 100 centimeter. So 100 centimeter into 100 centimeter means we can write it as 1 meter square is equals to 2 to 4. That means uh, 10 to the power 4 or we can write it like this that much centimeter square. So this is the relation between 1 meter square and centimeter square. Now next relation I am going to tell about centimeter square and millimeter square. So again as we know 1 centimeter square means 2 times centimeter. 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter means 1 centimeter we know that uh, 10 millimeter so 10 millimeter into 10 millimeter or we can write it as 1 centimeter square is equals to 100 millimeter square so this is the relation between centimeter square and millimeter square now let us see the relation between air and meter square so we must know that 1 air equals to 100 meter square 1 air equals to 100 meter square now let us see the relation between hectare and air so we can say 1 hectare equals to 100 air 1 hectare equals to 100 air or if we will find the relation between hectare and meter square so we can write here 100 air means 100 into 100 meter square so we can write 1 hectare equals to 1 10 to the power 4 meter square so this these are the relationship between different uh, units of uh, area now one more we can talk about uh, large areas uh, can also be measured in kilometer square. So, 1 kilometer square means uh, if you will write 1 kilometer square means 1 kilometer into 1 kilometer. We know that 1 kilometer means 1000 meter into 1000 meter. So, we can write 10 to the power 6 meter square. So, 1 kilometer square is equals to 10 to the power 6 meter square. So, these are the relation between different types of uh, different units of area. Now, let us see the measurement of area of an irregular shape. As I said, regular shape body, body's area can be measured by using mathematical formula and uh, how we will measure the area of a irregular shape body for that we will take a grid sheet grid this is a grid sheet it contains box one box area of one box or one square let us consider one square equals to one centimeter square it means the area of one box or one square is one centimeter square now what we will do we will take the irregular set body and keep it over this seat and draw its outline like if a leaf is there or any object suppose a body is like this and uh, we have just taken a irregular body like this is a irregular shaped surface and we have to find the area of this one so what we will do listen the process the first process we will take the grid seats and over this we will keep on this seat we will keep the irregular shaped body and draw its outline after Taking the outline, we will 
uh, remove the body from there so we will get a shape like this now what we will do we will count the com these squares which are completely lies within these boundaries so i am counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so these are the box these are the squares which completely lies within the within this outline within this boundary so let us count number of complete square that is 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 7 now we will count the incomplete squares so incomplete squares that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we will write the next that is number of incomplete squares is equals to 12 to approximate the area what we will do one more is there 30 so we will write number of incomplete squares that is 30 now the area of irregular surface we will write it as number of complete square plus number of incomplete square so we can write 7 plus sorry incomplete square divided by 2 so 7 plus 13 by 2 if we will divide we will get it as 6.5 so area will be if we will add these two we will get uh, 6 and 7 that is 13.5 centimeter square as one square is one centimeter square so this is the method to approximate the area of, a, of an irregular shape body again i am telling first step we will take the irregular shape body keep it on a graded sheet and draw its outline after then we will count the complete squares that means those squares which lies completely within this uh, boundary then after we will count the incomplete squares incomplete means that uh, squares which are not completely lies within the boundary and then after area of irregular surface that is complete square plus incomplete squares divided by 2 and then we will simplify we will get the approximate area so this is the method to calculate the area of an irregular shape body. So this is about uh, volume and uh, area. In next video, I will explain the measurement of density and speed. Thank you students. Thank you for watching.